Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you just a couple tricks and tools that you can use to really increase the um, quality of your work within Illustrator. Um, what I have here is a simple illustration of a hand, but I haven't finished the illustration. What I want to do is add a few more bits to this just to really make it look um, really modern and, and really professional. So the first thing I'll need to do is, first of all, want to create a background. So I'm going to come through and use our rectangle tool here. And I'm going to draw that rectangle across the whole artboard like so. And I have a gradient within my swatches that I would like to use. Wonderful. Now I need to send this to the back. So if I go right click, arrange, I can obviously send that to the back. And what I also want to do is I want to lock this to the artboard. The keyboard shortcut to do that is Command-2 on Mac or Control-2 on Windows. Okay, so we have our illustration here, right? Now, as you can see, this is all separate sections here. But what I want to do is group this up. So I'm going to select everything and go right-click, group. There is a keyboard shortcut to do that. On a Mac, it's Command-G. On Windows, it's Control-G. And what I would like to do to this illustration now is add some real sort of like a nice glow to it. So when it's still selected, I'm now going to come to Effect, Stylize. We're going to have it set at Outer Glow. And as you can see, look, the Outer Glow really is coming into, into life there. I'm just going to increase the blur probably to around five. Keep the screen, keep the mode on screen, keep the color as white. Let's press OK. Nice. Now what I want to do is create some sort of nice little pattern background. So I'm just going to take my group here, just move that over there because I'm going to come back to that later. And now I want to use my pen tool. I come through and I'm going to be quite random with it, but I'm going to let me just quickly swap in the fill and stroke around there. You can see I'm not joining up these anchor points just yet. That will be in a sec. Let's say like that. There. Okay. So like I said, I would like to join these anchor points up. And I'm going to do that using the lasso tool. Yeah, I'm just going to come through, select them like that, and then right click, average, okay. And that's how we join them up. So let's go through now. Right click, average, okay. Very nice. Right click, average. Okay. There we are. I need to get in there, guys. And here is two more to do, three more to do, sorry. Very nice. And very nice. Okay. So here's my sort of futuristic pattern. Um, I've still got the same gradient as I've used on the um, hand here but yeah again what i want to do is add that sort of outer glow so keep it selected i want to go to effect stylize and outer glow maybe bring the blur down a little bit probably to around three and let's press okay now with this pattern what i'd like to do is create some more sort of like dots on it so if i now come through and use our ellipse tool here uh, let's zoom in <clears throat> And let's use our ellipse tool. I'm going to come back here. We'll start drawing. We'll press Option and Mac or Alt on Windows uh, to resize from the center point and shift as well at the same time. Let's just swap that around there, like so. And now using my selection tool, I'm just going to duplicate this using Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and clicking and dragging with my mouse. Maybe increase the size of that one a little bit. Take that one down there. Maybe decrease the size of this one. There. Nice, maybe put a big one in there, like so. In here. Okay, this one. Couple more to do. Like so. Okay, wonderful. 
Now, what I'd like to do is add a glow to these circles as well. So I'm just going to select them all. I'm just going to click my first one there. And press Shift and click, Shift and click, Shift and click, all the way through and just these circles here. And then we're going to go to Effect, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Stylize, Outer Glow. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that blur there, to be fair. And let's press OK. Let's now group everything up. The shortcut, as we know, is Command-G on Mac or Control-G on Windows. Wonderful. Now, I'm just going to select our element here. We want to bring that to the front. So I'm just going to right-click Arrange and bring that to the front. There we go. Let's place that there. And I have my sort of group background pattern idea. Maybe increase the size of it a little bit like so, using those shortcuts. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluestrikegraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.